On hearing the name of the Sahara Desert, you may remember the sand dunes and scorching heat. The Sahara is the largest hot desert in the world, and it's also a continent. Deserts are of two types, hot and cold. The largest cold desert in the world is Antarctica, while the largest hot desert is the Sahara. Although the Sahara may seem normal, changes continuously take place in the desert, causing it to transform completely in a few thousand years. In today's video, we'll reveal the secrets of the Sahara and what lies under its sand. You're watching Futuristic YouTube channel. Do subscribe the channel. Today, we know the Sahara as a desert, but it's surprising to know that only 6,000 years ago, it was not a desert, but a grassland. It was completely green and was home to animals and humans. The Sahara is spread over an area of 9 million square kilometers and used to receive good rainfall. 6,000 years ago, it was covered in green grass instead of hot sand, and it used to rain and have a normal climate. There were also lakes in the Sahara that were a good source of water for the humans and animals living there. At that time, the Sahara received enough rainfall to support one of the largest rivers in the world, the River Tamanrasip. The river used to flow through the green land of the Sahara, meet the Atlantic Ocean, and have a network that was about 500 kilometers long. It had many tributaries, which fed into the main river, and distributaries, which bisected the main river and carved their own course, although they were still fed by the main river. In 2015, scientists utilized satellite imaging technology to take 3D images of the Sahara Desert in an effort to gather more information about the Pali River. A Pali River, in geology, is a river that has completely dried up and sediment has accumulated on it. Scientists discovered the smooth banks of the river through these 3D images. They typically search for the river's shore to conduct research on extinct rivers. By analyzing the stones and soil, they can determine the river's age and the elements present in it. This technique is not only used to detect ancient water sources on Earth, but also on Mars. It became clear from the images that the river truly existed and its remnants are now buried under the sand of the desert. Similarly, there was once a vast lake in Central Africa called Lake Mega Chad, which eventually dried up and is now present in a much smaller area known as Lake Chad. When the lake was in its prime, it covered an area of approximately 388,500 square kilometers. If it had survived, it would have been larger than the Caspian Sea, which is currently the world's largest lake. The images released by NASA show the lake's extensive coverage. Today, the area is mostly barren and lifeless, a reminder of the impact humans have had on turning once green regions into deserts. Different scientists have different opinions on the matter of what caused the Sahara Desert. Environmental archaeologist David Wright claims that animals have played a significant role in the transformation of the area. According to Wright, overgrazing by livestock such as sheep, goats, and cows damaged the soil and led to a decline in precipitation levels and an increase in drought. As a result, the temperature rose and vegetation dried up, eventually turning the area into a desert the size of the United States. However, it would be incorrect to solely blame the animals for the desertification. Overgrazing only occurs when livestock are not controlled. In their natural state, animals have a sense of balance and do not overgraze as they know it will lead to a shortage of food in the future. The farmers responsible for controlling the livestock were a crucial part of the process. The problem of desertification can be traced back to the advent of agriculture approximately 10,000 years ago, when humans made their first permanent settlements and stopped exploring. This led to the spread of diseases and a decline in nutrition levels, as people were no longer receiving a variety of nutrients from different sources. Overuse of the same soil for agriculture and grazing depleted its essential nutrients and made it infertile. It was once believed that human activities alone were responsible for the transformation of the Sahara into a desert. However, a 2018 study challenged this notion by revealing that herders of the past played a significant role in maintaining the Sahara as a green area for 500 years. The study showed that the grazing of animals, combined with the manure they provided, helped keep the soil fertile. But later, scientists discovered that natural factors also played a part in the formation of the Sahara Desert. The soil erosion that transported soil to West Africa around 240,000 years ago and the cyclical changes in the climate, with periods of dryness and humidity, 
every 20,000 years, were significant factors in the formation of the Sahara. These cycles were linked to changes in the Earth's axial tilt, which affected the amount of solar radiation received in the region. As a result, the Sahara became dry and barren when there was insufficient sunlight, leading to low precipitation levels and high levels of evaporation. It may seem confusing that the Sahara, with its high heat, could receive less sunlight. However, the rapid heating and cooling of the sand in the desert causes the temperature to feel higher even when it is low. Additionally, the lack of trees and plants in the area results in a clear sky that allows more sunlight to shine through. Scientists believe that the difference in the amount of sunlight received in the area led to the transformation of the Sahara into a desert. When there is adequate sunlight, the rain cycle continues and trees and plants grow, creating a thriving ecosystem that supports animal life. It is speculated that if the scientists' findings are accurate, the Sahara could once again become a green grassland in the next 10,000 years. The area would receive heavy rainfall and trees and plants would grow, creating a habitat for both animals and humans. The Sahara's climate and geography are also shaped by its geological history. During the Mesozoic era, two empty continents, Laurasia and Gondwana, existed on Earth. An ocean formed between the two, causing them to separate, and later, they divided into different land masses, leading to the formation of various continents. Scientists discovered a skeleton while conducting research in the sand. Further investigation revealed that it belonged to a whalefish named Basilosaurus, one of its ancestors. Unlike modern whales, Basilosaurus had sharp teeth and short limbs. Scientists estimate that it was the largest predator at the time, measuring approximately 69 feet in length. This discovery is surprising and the relic can still be seen today in Wadi El Hayton, which means Valley of the Whales in Arabic. While exploring, scientists not only found fish skeletons, but also those of ancient snakes, turtles, and crocodiles in the desert. This was a surprise, as it was unexpected to find marine animal skeletons in a desert. Many hypotheses were made, including the idea that aliens brought the skeletons to the desert. However, the idea that a sea once existed above the Sahara was also put forward. It quickly got disproved as there is no evidence to support it. Until now, no one is certain how the marine animal skeletons ended up in the desert. Scientists made another shocking discovery while conducting research in Sahara. This time, they found the remains of dinosaurs. It is clear that many mysteries are still hidden in the sand of the Sahara that have yet to be discovered. The fossils belong to one of the largest dinosaurs in the world, a herbivorous dinosaur that lived around 100 million years ago and became extinct in the Chicxulub extinction event 66 million years ago. It was approximately 32 meters long and weighed 60 tons. Scientists named the dinosaur Paralytitan stromeri. The discovery of the fossils confirmed that Sahara was once a grassland, which explains the evolution of a grass-eating dinosaur. If the environment was not suitable for this type of dinosaur, it would not have evolved in the area. In 2018, scientists made another important discovery of dinosaur remains. The bones belong to an extinct dinosaur named Mansurosaurus, which was significant because little was known about the dinosaurs that lived in Africa before their extinction. These dinosaurs lived during the Cretaceous period, approximately 66 to 100 million years ago. The discovery was surprising, but it was surpassed by a more shocking discovery. During the study of the fossils, scientists found that its DNA matched that of a species of dinosaur found in Europe. This raises questions about the origin of the dinosaurs. It is unlikely that the dinosaurs could suddenly cover such a distance between Europe and Africa, or that aliens transported them from Europe to Africa. Further studies are needed to determine the exact origin of the Mansurosaurus and how it ended up in Africa. However, this discovery has opened up new avenues for research and given scientists a better understanding of the dinosaurs that lived in Africa. One thing became clear to the scientists. Even terrestrial animals can travel long distances and cross continents. The newly discovered species of dinosaurs measured about 8 to 10 meters in length and weighed about 6.5 tons, the equivalent of an African bull elephant. Their discovery was significant as it allowed for new insights into the fauna present during the dinosaur era. The Sahara Desert holds another mysterious feature, 
the Eye of Sahara, also known as the Ridget Structure. This geological formation, made up of large concentric circles with a diameter of approximately 31 miles, can be seen from space and is considered one of the most mysterious structures on Earth. The formation was discovered in 1965 during the Gemini 4 mission, but its origin remains unclear. Despite being thought to have been formed by an asteroid impact or a volcano, scientists have found no evidence of a crater or volcanic rock in the area. As with many other mysteries, there are also alien conspiracy theories surrounding the Eye of Sahara. Some believe it was once a landing site for aliens in their UFOs. However, this is not the case. After extensive research, scientists found that soil erosion could play a role in its formation. Yet this is not considered the main cause, as no natural event can create such a perfect structure. There are still many unknowns about the Sahara Desert and they will likely remain a mystery until further research is done. Scientists and archaeologists will continue their work, providing us with new information as they uncover it. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.